Gods Motaris, you have just won the Democratic Party primary for New York's 15th Congressional District. You will be on the ballot for that in November, so you are likely headed to Congress. And this picture of economic disparity, which, by the way, has always been the case between the Upper East Side and the Bronx, is now exacerbated. It is, it is now very, very clear that living in the Bronx is like living in a developed country. A developing country, I mean. Look, when New York City gets a cold, uh, the Bronx gets the flu. Uh, the Bronx has an unemployment rate as high as 30 percent, which is comparable to the joblessness of the Great Depression. In the Bronx, there are 355,000 unemployed people, which is a population larger than that of most large cities in the United States. And the Bronx is heavily represented in low-wage sectors, food, restaurants, hospitality, all of which have been hit hardest by the pandemic. pandemic. And unlike white collar work, none of them are lend themselves to telecommuting. Let's talk a little bit about uh, small businesses. The, when, when one drives into the Bronx or goes into the Bronx, one thing you really recognize is it's, it's a small business place. Most of the main streets are lined. Uh, you know, increasingly you see a lot of these national chains, but they're small businesses. Uh, New York Times has a story that's talking about how black businesses are uh, hit the hardest in the New York area. I just want to put this map up on the screen. Uh, in the Bronx, there are uh, most small, small businesses have less than two weeks of cash. Um, that's kind of remarkable. Uh, they, they don't have options. They're going to be out of business. They are the businesses that pay your taxes. They are the businesses that employ people. Look, not only has the Bronx seen the most economic struggle, it has gotten the least economic support. I mean, as that, as that Times piece noted, uh, New York City had a $20 million small business assistance program. Manhattan received 57% of the assistance, whereas only 2% went to the Bronx. And we've seen comparable disparities when it comes to the federal government's PPP program.